Hello and welcome to the hot seat session for Fourth Age Total War, a modification of Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion. I am Wombat or Wambat as you please. In this session we are subbing for Tolkis, Tolkis the Valiant, um, who's playing Reunited Kingdom when we are in turn 19. So let's figure out what his plan was. Okay, we got a scout here, that's a good thing. Um, let's just take a gander at any armies we have. My goodness, there's an army here. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Well, um, I feel like the thing to do with this army is get it uh, inside of this fort. Um, basically, the one useful thing I figure we can do is uh, keep this fort manned. That will at least make it so that uh, the um, Herod faction down here uh, may have to circumvent this fort. They're probably planning on sending their forces north by Sia anyway, but that means not sending their um, Lumikil by sea, and that's going to be good for us. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get these fellows back into this keep. sure why they moseyed out. Most likely Tolkis wanted to uh, send his forces north to uh, uh, I think it's called Anor. Arnor. Um, don't really have enough money to be purchasing mercenaries. We'll think about it. Maybe we'll do that later. Okay, so here we've got a nice little garrison unit. Those are useful. Okay, here there are two nobles. There does not need to be. So one of those nobles should be going somewhere more useful. Okay, we've got another stack over here. Probably was hanging about. Oh, oh. Okay. Let me see here. Is that actually there? It may actually be there. So we will want to get rid of it. I didn't realize there was still a nasty little stack. Okay, so we have. Uh, this guy is a competent governor. We have a, a uh, cardinal here that needs a governor. Order. So let's go ahead and move him over. Maybe this guy was anticipating becoming a governor of Parnos, but it'll be a little while before that's ready to be occupied. So we'll just send this fellow off towards Tartal. I have to be careful because the settlement is still occupied. There we go. Right, go over to Tartal, please. All right, so what we will do is start making our way up to this camp so that we can destroy it. Move up. 
that's all of our armies. Now let's look at our agents. Got a few emissaries here. I recall of the Dwarven campaign, there's actually an assassin uh, near Farnost causing trouble. Two scouts in here. We want to keep a scout in each settlement to help thwart the assassin causing more damage. So let's get this emissary down here. Where our oh, that doesn't help. No, this emissaries only help when they are next to uh, the settlements of another faction. Okay, you go down here. That's probably a good place for you to be. Three ways is probably capable of producing scouts by now. Okay, let's look for some more agents to move around. Oh, wow. How is he still alive? Not sure Dunabar would have killed any agents in this area by now. Honestly, I think the best thing for him is to get the hell out of Dodge, if he can make it. Let's just see. Okay, not bad. Maybe he'll survive next turn. Well, I don't know if there are any, what is it there I, that I can do with this guy here? Oh, I have a scout here. Can I scout this? God damn it. <laughs> I really hate how badly scouts perform. Just, uh, yeah, if it was uh, like a um, traditional campaign, not against uh, the player, for fuck's sake, 93% chance, dude. It wouldn't be so bad because... Uh, you know, you'd wait for your 93% chances, you wouldn't get so many losses, and you'd build up your scouts over time, but it's so important to um, to make progress quickly so that you can defend your settlements. Oh shit, I didn't want you coming out there, god damn it. You go in there. Um, okay, well, we have other settlements here that need spies. Where should I put this guy? He'd probably be most useful right here for right now. Scout way up here. I must just be trying to uh, explode. No, I honestly can't. Why would you send a scout way over here? I just don't. I don't see that as a useful thing to do. I can't get through here. Oh, fuck. Fuck me. Dunabar actually holds this place. God damn it. Four units. God damn it. <laughs> this is really sucky. I need to get some spies over here fast. Okay. 
this guy is the more capable. Can he get in there? He can potentially get in there. So that's what we'll try for. I had oh good. I had a nagging worry that I'd forgotten to build uh, to build siege equipment on this army, and Tolkas would have been very disappointed in me, I'm sure, if that had happened. But uh, fortunately, I remembered. Okay, so we want to keep an agent in here. Uh, can we? But we we are recruiting scouts, so that's actually fine. I guess we can keep doing that. funny is that you have to uh, build up uh, a l more advanced uh, mustering fields in order to be able to hire cheaper soldiers. It's rather counterintuitive. These mo kingdom militia that you can get right off the bat are extremely expensive compared to the less expensive and considerably more useful Eriador hunters that you can recruit with a bit better of a garrison uh, building, a uh, military building. So we'll have to uh, try to get those built soonish. Okay. Kind of need to get uh, multiple spies to this location quickly. How long will it take me to get there? Who can get there next turn? So we should be able to get both of them there next turn. Yes, because I will want to attack them on the turn that I arrive. And not have to wait an extra turn. up there. I need you to get up here. This is our very important target here. We need to eliminate this this uh, mountain hold. We do not want units coming out from our back yard to bother us. Okay, so after that all we have to do is whatever scouts we can get queued up. We will never have enough scouts. Oh, look at here. Get barrier door hunters here. That's not bad. We do need more men, especially with ranged capabilities. Okay, I'm going to switch production to some area door hunters. Damn, they're good. Look at that. Really low recruitment and upkeep. Yeah, Talkus, when you take over, make sure you uh, you get those area door hunters started to get pumping. Pumping those area door hunt hunters out up in the north here. That's going to be our most useful unit. Okay, so there's that. What are we doing? We're looking at cities. Thornburg Keep. That's way down in the south. It cannot recruit anything, which is unfortunate. Peculiar, actually. I think it ought to be able to recruit. Ah! You have to build this thing if you want it to recruit anything. And for some reason, I can't. Why can't I? Let's go here. Got the local trader. 
So I have to have this unchecked. So if I built one of these guys, I would begin to be able to build Kingdom Militia. That wouldn't be awesome though because um, they cost quite a bit. So I think maybe I'll just be happy with what I have there so far. Maybe if I have lots of money later on, I can worry about upgrading that. Converting the uh, the population of the keep into soldiers. Change this to growth. It doesn't matter what I do there, though. Okay, next thing, Bree. I really want you to be able to uh, start recruiting these Eriador hunters, which is expensive to commission, but I really it's important. So we need to get started on that. And that's going to use up all of our money. So we don't need to worry about trying to produce anything else because we won't be able to. Oh, but uh, this here is a home. And you know what? Bree can wait a turn because getting a homeland dominion, dominion going here is going to be important. And it's not that expensive. So we get it started. Alright, I think that's all we can do. The United Kingdom's pretty low on options right now. So that's going to be everything for us for the moment. These little tiny garrisons here, they're so sad. That's better than nothing, right? This was actually a normal size swordsman unit. Can I get it retrained over here? Yeah, I could potentially retrain it here. But probably not worth doing so considering how expensive they are. Let's look at the finances. Yeah, not making a whole lot of money each turn. Okay. We will call that a day. I don't believe there's any kind of uh, um, diplomacy to be done. Where'd this guy go again? Oh, he's up there. <sighs> Do I want to leave him there? How long will it take him to come around? Quite a few turns, but it might actually be worth it to do that. I don't think I'll ever be able to approach from the side. Okay, we don't actually need to capture Gunbad Fortress. We can leave this one to uh, rebel. Too bad we never had a player in charge of Dale. Dale would have been very handy as an ally. Or a useful, functional ally. Okay. Um, we're going to call that it. That's enough. Let's see. 